Vivan Sundaram is one of the foremost contemporary artists from India. He tends to work with a lot of material that has been discarded. It had a past life and is now being repurposed. In this case, with Pilfil, the suit is repurposing pharmaceuticals that were once intended for a different cause. We had a couple issues with this suit coming to us, though, at the Fowler Museum. One of the issues is that the pills and the capsules that he used in the suit are considered contraband and the piece would have been seized by customs. So all these pills here have been sourced by us here in the States and we tried to get the colors as best as possible to match the piece as it was displayed before. The other issue that we had with the suit is there was some kind of a breakdown of the pills and capsules themselves. The problem there is that as an institution that is acquiring this piece, we need to think about long-term preservation of it. And I was cruising through the literature there and trying to find any other conservation articles that were written about conserving pharmaceuticals, and there was nothing. So we really had to kind of figure out what we were going to do here, pave the way ourselves in terms of how we were going to conserve this material. Basically, we created humidity chambers to find the point at which these capsules and pills would degrade. We also did light tests to see at what point the dyes within the capsules start to fade. And from that, we can know that this piece can only be displayed for this amount of time. Even though we found that none of these pills or capsules would dissolve within the ranges of our humidity and temperature controls, we decided that it was necessary to, to still add a thin layer of coating that gives it an added bit of protection. So within all the issues that we, we had with the suit, I think we came up with some good solutions. And the piece is now here up on display. And I'm hoping to then publish a paper shortly about conserving pharmaceuticals.